As women, we are taught one universal thing about dating, and that is to wait. Wait for the man to approach you. Wait for the man to ask you for your number. And wait for the man to ask you on a date. And do you know what that truly teaches women? That everything in our love life is on a man's time and terms. Ladies, if you think that is asinine, because you don't wait for anything in your life, then it's time to bring that same level of confidence and proactivity that you bring to every other area of your life to your love life. Because the reason you can't find Mr. Right is not because you're not beautiful and it's not because you don't bring valuable things to the table. The reason you can't find Mr. Right is because you are waiting on him to find you. And don't get me wrong, because I wholeheartedly believe in the scripture that says, he who finds a wife findeth a good thing. My question to you, however, is what are you doing to be found? And so how you help Mr. Right find you is by developing the courage to flirt first. And I say that for three main reasons. The first is because men approach significantly less today than they did just 10 years ago. And they approach less for one main reason. And it's because women are less approachable. Think about it. As an independent woman, you are busy. So when you're out and about, you're rushing in and out of places, your head is buried in your phone, and you rarely take the time to engage with your environment. And in those rare instances, when you do happen to make eye contact with a cute guy, you probably get nervous and look away. And the unfortunate part about that is the main guy who's still approaching without needing a look, a smile, or any encouragement from you is who I like to call Larry the Lame. And Larry is lame because he approaches every girl he's attracted to. Since he figures, if I approach 10 girls this week, I can seduce at least one of them into sleeping with me by next weekend. And I don't want you to stereotype Larry because some Larrys are very handsome, charming, and educated. So don't assume Larry is lame in terms of status or appearance, but rest assured, every Larry is lame as it pertains to character. And the unfortunate part about that is so many women spend their entire love life dating lying, lame Larrys all because they're too afraid to talk to the guy who's not talking to them. Since they erroneously assume if he was attracted, he'd be approaching. But that's not necessarily true, considering the fact that Gary, the good guy, isn't approaching is due to the fact that he's not as desperate for attention or cocky enough to believe that all women want him. Because he's humble, he values quality over quantity, and he's the all-around better dude. Don't y'all agree that's the guy you should be talking to instead of the slick, smooth-talking guy who approaches every girl he's attracted to? Sell out into my fraternity. I mean, you can stop all no, that. No, wait, Will. I got this one. You think I'm a sellout. Why? Because I live in a big house or I dress a certain way? Or maybe it's because I like Barry Manilow. Being black isn't what I'm trying to be, it's what I am. I'm running the same race and jumping the same hurdles you are, so why are you tripping me up? You said we need to stick together, but you don't even know what that means. If you ask me, you're the real seller. 